Okay, so in this video, we are just going to have a look at option menus in TK Enter. Now, um, just to begin with, we have the same rep program that we've been uh, dealing with, where we have a main window, um, which just has a title and oops, there we go, and it's not resizable, and it has a width and height of 500 and 400. So there it is. So we have this plain uh, GUI window, which we've called main window. And uh, what we're going to do is just place an option menu in there. So um, first of all, what we need is a list of items to go in our option menu. So I'm just going to create a basic list. So I'm just going to call this one uh, student list. And we'll just have some student names in there like, uh, I don't know, John, James, and uh, I'm trying to think, Lucy. There we go. So there are three names. So those are the three values that we want to see in our option menu. Now, um, what we also want to do is set the actual first entry. So, call it the selected entry. And to do that, we'll just create a little variable. I'm just going to call it selected student. And it's going to be a string bar. And then what we can do is we can set that by going selected student dot set. And then from our list, we can just choose which one it is. So rather than putting in a name like that, what we'll do is we'll go to our student list and then just put the index of the item we want to be initially selected. So in this case here, it's going to be selected to John because he has an index of zero. Okay, so once we've got that, now we're ready to set up our option menu. So I'm just going to call it student menu. And this is an instance of the option menu class there. And as always, the first um, attribute, if you like, that we need to set is its location. So I'm just going to put main window. And then we have the name of whatever is going to be selected initially. So in this case here, I'm just going to put selected student. So obviously that should be the value of this first item from our student list. And then finally, we have the name of the list. So I'm just going to put a star first and then the name of the list where we're getting our information from. Okay. And last step is to pack that into our layout. And now if we save this, what should happen is our list is created, our uh, initially selected student is set up, and our option menu is populated. So let's see what happens. So there is our list. You can, well, there's our option menu, sorry. You can see success so far that John is the initially selected name. And when we click on the drop down, there are the three names from our list, John, James, and Lucy. So that is a basic intro into how to set up an option menu in TK Enter.